welcome back to my channel uh essence of shea how long have i been here already i've been here for i don't even know but i just wanted to come up in here i guess this would be like a vlog my face is hecka dry because my box with all my stuff my oils and everything has not arrived yet. My hair is dry, my face is dry. I'm drinking my water, so I guess, um, and it's not even hot here. Let's have a heart to heart. So I was talking with someone who I call my friend, and that's not no shade, I'm just saying, who I call my friend. And I was talking about like when they moved, uh, how many people like reached out to them and whatnot. And the reason why I was asking, because nobody really knows that I moved because it was like a quick thing that happened. Um, but I just was talking about just like in friendships in general, like I feel like I'm always there for friends, but because my stand and I had to realize, and when you have all this time by yourself, you have these aha uh -huh moments but i had to realize that like, the standards that i put up for friends is just too high because for instance like i'll go into wait let me put this somewhere so i don't have to hold it let's put it like this <clears throat> can y'all see me okay right so I'll go into like a friendship if I just met someone and we're building a friendship. What will happen is like I'll go into it with high expectations and I'll also like rush the process. So we could just meet, but off the rip, I'm just like, oh my God, we connect so much. This is going to be my best friend. Da, da, da. I have all the future um, stuff in my head and I put, then I turn around and I put these expectations on this person and probably in their head they're just like yo but we just met we're just we're just really cool we're getting to know each other the vibe is there da 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 but they're not on like they're not rushing like how i am and i notice that i do that a lot and because then then i wonder like why these um friendships will not last or why certain things happen but it's not reciprocated back like for instance if a friend is going through something they call me up i'm there i listen da 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 if i'm going through something it's like i'll reach out to them but it's like i'm pulling teeth and it's not the same way it was when you know what i'm saying when i was um I don't know if I'm making any sense, but coming into like a new city, I look hecka rough, right? Whatever. Coming into a new city, I'm just realizing like, how do you make friends in a new city? I guess the thing would be to go out and network and all that stuff, but you're in a new city that uh, a car is almost like a necessity so how are you able to go to these places yeah you could take uber and whatnot but that that runs up a bill um there's a bus and stuff like that that'll take like an hour two hours to get to a destination that's like driving 30 20 minutes away but you see you hear all these excuses and i was talking to a couple people and i noticed that like uh, friendships now, especially female friendships, are some of them are indicative of like what they can get out of you or like um, what's your platform and not like really sincere friendships anymore. I'm talking all over the place, but I hope it makes sense because I was just sitting, I was talking to a couple people that I know, and I'm just like why are friendships so difficult nowadays first of all i am a people person so my issue is not making friends at all my issue is keeping them 
So that could be an issue with me or it could be an issue with the people that I'm meeting are just it just was only supposed to serve a purpose for that time being which sucks because you don't want to keep going through these things with people all the time and then how do you meet friends um like i said you go to events maybe at your job um church if you're into that all this you can meet is places where you can meet people it's just you have to decipher is that a genuine friendship that you want to have. And then if you're like me, you also have to reel it in a little bit. You have to realize that, yo, you just met this person. Give it some time. Don't rush into making them like your best friend when you really don't even know them like that. Like you know them, but you don't know them. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, um... What y'all think? Do you think in 2018 it's hard to make new friendships? Do friendships even matter? Because I remember my mom telling me that my brother was like, Ma, do you think uh, friendships are important right now? Like, do you think friends are important? And he was like, because he doesn't think they are. And Im immediately I thought, like, that's kind of sad. Like, who doesn't want to have friends? Like, a person you could confide in and stuff like that. But then I was like... It's good to have p people around, but do you really need friends? Do you need friends? Do you need friends? I feel like you do. I feel like you need a support system. I feel like you need people that you could just hang out and be yourself with. I think you need people who you could um be their cheerleaders and vice versa. I feel like you need people that you can hang around with and da da da. Not necessarily. Is it a need or is it a want? Hmm. That's a good question. Are friendships a need or are friendships a want? Because according to Susie Orman, you should go after the things that you need and not necessarily the things that you want. Aha. Uh -huh. And she used that as a, like a financial reason. But you could use that towards anything. Like if you really think about it. We gonna have more of these girl chats because. Or Tiger Lily chats. Because these are things that we should talk about. Like. And then for instance loneliness too. So. <clears throat> I spoke to you guys and I told you guys that I don't like being alone. That's just never been my judge. It could be like an abandonment issue thing from the past. I just, I like family and friends around, right? I like my alone time. Don't get me wrong. I like that. But to just be alone all day, every day, 365 times. Like some people enjoy that. I am not one of them. It just, it is what it is. I'm just not, and I'm not going to beat myself up about that. That's just who I am. But you have to go deeper into that because then, do you not like being alone because you don't like being by yourself? Because, like, being with the confinements of you? Because if that's a, the problem, then you need to, like, sit down and dig into that. Like, why don't you like your own thoughts? What about your life in this moment or things that have happened in your life that has caused you to feel that way? With me, it's always been people leaving, people coming for a certain reason, and then once they get what they want, they're out. It could just be a, just things with me, but with other people, it's deeper. And instead of facing their truth about that, they rather run from it and find um, comfort and people who don't need to be in their life. You get what I'm trying to say? So um, this has forced me to just dig deep and enter my thoughts. And I already knew what the reason was. And it not necessarily I don't like me. I love me. And I'm an improvement from who I was last year. So that's excellent. Every time you grow each year, you're improving yourself. And that's great. So... It's not necessarily just being with me. It's just, a, it's just 
I don't know. It's like the abandonment part of the the situation, which I'm working on. And a lot of people, um, because they don't like being by themselves, they tend to like seek it, seek the validation and and all that from other people who just do not need to be in their life at all. And trust me, I've been down that road. Um, so yeah. Anyways, y'all, if you guys have any thoughts about what I talked about, please put it in the comment box below. I'm going to have these Tiger Lily chats more often. If you have anything you guys want me to talk about, put in the comment box below. Um, Yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. This really was really uh, spur of the moment. I'm in my Christmas pants. It is not even close to being Christmas, but she's in there. You see it. You see her. She's in there, honey. I'm on my blow-up bed. Um, I'm sitting here talking with y'all. I start my new job tomorrow. Yay. And then I'm going to be exploring the bus, too. So I'm going to talk to y'all about that because I don't, I don't know about this whole bus thing. But we're going to think positive, positive thoughts. Um, Yeah. I will see you guys next time. See you later, Tiger Lily. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the